All right, mate, I know you're tired. We're nearly done. You've been doing a great job so far. How many more have we got? It's so one more interview, then we're completely done with the press run, all right? I can do one more. Yeah, that's fine. Sorry I'm late, guys. How are you doing, mate? You look wonderful. Good to see you, bud. Oh, thank you so much. Really appreciate that. All right. Are we good to go? Everyone's sweet? We good? We're rolling. <laughs> hey, guys, today I'm sitting down with one of the blockbuster stars of the upcoming movie, Robots vs. Dinosaurs, Ryan Wilson. Ryan, welcome. Thanks so much. It's, uh, it's awesome to be here. Now, I've seen the film. Bloody loved it. I'm glad you like it. It means a lot. Just wondering, which dinosaur were you? Uh, no, it wasn't a dinosaur. Right? Oh, the, the, who were you? I was just a human, like, uh, kind of myself. Oh, okay, cool. Can you give us a bit of insight into what it was like being on set? Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, we had some excellent writers who really helped push the story along. That's Our awesome. That's great to hear. Now, uh, am great. I correct in saying that this is your first time in Australia? It is, yeah. All right, well, you may have noticed that we talk a little bit differently down here. Actually, one of your co-stars, Kyle Hart, is a true blue Aussie himself. So we thought we'd play a little game where I'll give you some Aussie slang and you have to tell me what it means. Have you done this in any of the interviews before? Uh, there were a couple other guys who did like a similar thing, but uh, it, you know, it's, that's fine. Oh, really? Yeah, like maybe one or two. All right, well, this one's going to be totally different. We're going to throw a couple of curveballs at you. So you ready? Ready. All right, perfect. Let's start off with an easy one. G'day. That one means hello. Spot on. All right, let's go a little bit harder. Next one. Tucker. Oh, uh, Tucker. Uh, it's like food. It is, it is. Are you sure you don't have a little bit of Aussie blood in you, mate? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next one's Barbie. So it's a barbecue. Hey, bloody three from three, you're on a roll. Alright, next one. You were an accident. Um, is, that's... Oh, mm. time's up. That one means good morning in Australia. Oh, really? Do a lot of people here in Australia say that? Oh, yeah, of course. You hear it all the time when you're growing up. My dad used to say it to me every morning when he came down for brekkie. You, you probably wouldn't get it. It's a, it's a bit of an Aussie thing, huh? <laughs> anyway, that, that brings me on to the next one. Brekkie. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's just breakfast. Right? Correct. Next one. Why can't you be more like your brother? Sorry? Oh, time's up. That one means happy birthday. Who says that on your birthday? Mostly dads, I'm pretty sure. Mine did, so... All right, let's get a few more in here. Okay. I drink because of you. Wow, okay. You've got me uh, stumped there. Ooh, time's up. You start off quick, but you're missing a couple of these ones. That one's a little bit harder. So basically, we had these Easter parades at school, and we walk around in front of all of our parents, and that's what your dads would shout at you. Well, my dad, at least. Right. We'll do a bit of an easy one. You're the reason me and your mother got a divorce. Oh, you're still going. Time's up. That one means good night. Aussie parents say to their kids before they go to sleep every night. Huh? In morning. I should have run off with that stripper from Mullumbimby when I had the chance. I, I don't know if I should answer that. No, that's actually a common phrase used by husbands when they speak to their wives on their anniversary here in Australia. Did yours? Dad was a true gentleman, said it every year. Dude, I think we should maybe oh, just... We'll give you a bit of an easy one, alright? Sheila. Okay, um, that's like the name for all women, isn't it? No, Sheila was the stripper that Dad ran off with. Of course it is. I think we might be done here. Okay, we'll go one more. One more, and then we're out of your hair. How's that sound? Okay, we'll go one more. Right? Right. Alright, last one. Bastard. I don't know, is that like what your dad used to call you? Mate, that that means unwanted child. What is wrong with you? I, I, this, I knew this would happen. Bloody oh, Hollywood I'm elite, so you try to have a little bit of fun, a bit of a game with them, and they just they just come back at you and they try to hurt you. Disgusting, mate. I don't need this from you. Everything's like somehow directed to be like a you sad child. off with your albino hair, Okay, mate. albino. Really. We have the same hair. Yeah, well, that's because we're the same person. Okay, this thing is getting a little bit too meta. I'm going to escoot you loose out of here. I've had enough. I don't need to deal with this shit. I don't need to deal with it, mate. That's, I've had enough. Movie was shit house, by the way. Okay, bye. bye.